When we omit radiation, we're saying we're going to find a population of patients who we think that their risk is low enough from uh, overall after lumpectomy um, that uh, uh, adding, uh, omitting the radiation won't have an impact on their overall survival. It will leave them with a, a slightly higher local regional recurrence risk than if they got radiated or if they had a mastectomy. And we have to say, in that population, that's okay um, because um, we can salvage them with another lumpectomy down the road. Can we omit radiation in younger women? Well, that's a little bit harder because we know that there is a group in that hormone sensitive stage one that can have quite high recurrence risks. And we know if it gets more than 10% or so, then we are going to start looking at the risk that the, the local recurrence risk could impact their distant metastatic and survival risk. So we don't want that to happen. So in that population, you need another selection criteria, a biologic selection criteria. And that's where subtyping comes in, or um, a, a, a multi-gene assay, an RNA ex, uh, uh, expression assay. And there are many out there now, commercially available. A, a lot have been has done with um, various of them. And see if we use an, uh, a biologic um, selection criteria on top of our uh, hormone-sensitive stage one already uh, clinical pathologic criteria, can we find a group of patients who again will have a slightly higher risk of local recurrence um, but might not be very clinically meaningful to that patient and also will not impact her overall survival um, and she can still have breast conservation should she recur.